Internationally renowned short seller Alex Temais initiated a live trading challenge in January 2023, aiming to turn $35,000 into $1 million by the end of the year with the entire process being publicly disclosed. Surprisingly, it only took him 55 days to transform the $35,000 account into $1 million, achieving almost a 30-fold return. One of his most iconic trades involved shorting AMC at $70 and taking profits at $30, earning $700,000 in a single transaction. Despite his precise and efficient trading skills, he sets a personal limit to earn no more than $10 million a year. It's rare to see a successful trader with such a lack of ambition. From a Starbucks barista earning $150 a week to a super trader making millions annually, what has Alex really figured out? In what follows, I'll share his trading process with you all. What you need to do now is to smash my subscribe button. And let's get started. Alex started getting into trading at 19, and the reason was pretty simple. His girlfriend dumped him because he was poor. Alex was heartbroken and swore to become a millionaire, determined to make his ex-girlfriend regret her decision deeply. Scanning all possible industries, he realized that the stock market was his only chance for a turnaround. So, he sold the wheels of his car, raising $2,000 to start his trading journey, working nights and trading stocks by day. Alex had a real knack for trading, but in a quirky way. Whichever stock he bought, it seemed destined to crash almost without fail. This nightmare went on for a whole year until one day a wise guy told him he could actually short stocks instead of buying them. That piece of advice turned his fate around. The first stock he shorted was the delisted VGG. Within 10 minutes of his move, it plummeted nearly 50% and Alex made an unexpected $1,000 from it. He then became hooked on trading, full of new hopes for life. He was over the moon, quit his job, and quickly lost all his money again. This roller coaster of wins and losses went on for three years until at 22, he finally cracked the code to a truly effective trading strategy and his account started to skyrocket. Alex loved trading in small cap stocks, those with low liquidity and market value. They were volatile, which meant he could make the most out of his relatively small investments. His daily routine? Waking up at 6 a.m., sipping a strong espresso and diving into a day of trading. First of all, Alex would scope out which stocks had made significant jumps and shown gap-ups. He'd pinpoint those that gapped up to key resistance levels. But he avoided stocks that gapped up near their previous highs as they were too risky and often continued to climb. Next, he'd sift through these stocks to figure out which ones were driven by news or fundamentals and which ones swung wildly without any good news to back them up. If a stock soared without any news or solid fundamentals, it was likely just a flash in the pan. These kinds of unsupported gains usually don't last long. For instance, he'd often dig through the filings submitted to the SEC to get the lowdown on these companies' financial details, uncovering overlooked investment opportunities and significant events, things like mergers, key contracts, management shakeups, or legal battles, all of which could hugely impact stock prices. Finally, he'd narrow it down further, zeroing in on stocks that had big gains but weren't exactly headline grabbers, especially those that had hit a peak in trading volume before the market opened. He'd mark the key resistance areas of these trends, waiting to short the stock when it neared that resistance again. He steered clear of those super hot, heavily traded stocks. It's like the most beautiful girl in the bar that everyone wants to chat up, making it hard for you to get close. Instead, he'd wait for the next day to target these former hotshots as they often became the supporting cast by then. Alex thrives in the volatile market largely because he's a pro at risk control and maximizing gains by adjusting his positions. His approach to risk management is straightforward and aggressive. He always sets a mandatory stop loss just above the pre-market swing high. If the price can break through this high, it's likely to keep rising. So, his stop loss isn't fuzzy, it's firm and decisive. The stop loss limit can't exceed two days average profit. For instance, if you average $100 a day over a month, your maximum loss per trade shouldn't be more than $200. Many traders wipe out weeks or even a month's gains with one bad trade, a setback that can really hurt your account, and that's something you've got to avoid. Alex rates his trading signals. Strategies that have a higher probability of earning money or signals with more resonance get an A grade. 
For example, if he usually trades with $10,000, he'll up the ante to $100,000 when an A-grade strategy signal appears. For B-grade or less resonant signals, it's the usual $20,000 or $10,000. This proportional adjustment, though riskier, is like playing blackjack. Even if you have a 20, the dealer might still hit 21 and take the pot. But if you're too scared to bet on a good hand, you'll never be a great trader. Still, there's a limit to prevent substantial account drawdowns. The largest trade shouldn't exceed 20% of the account funds. Nowadays, he only trades about an hour a day, relishing the joy of steady profits rather than chasing big account sizes or profit goals. That would require a trader to always make the right moves, spending loads of time on market research, poring over company reports, or risk losing millions. He doesn't want that life. Frequent trades and cash outs are the happiest. Trading is a lifelong pursuit for him. All right, make sure you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on even more profitable trading systems. I wish you a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Goodbye.